If you have a Python script, whether it's a Discord bot, web app, or anything else, you might want to be able to store some data in your Replit project. There are different ways of achieving this goal, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with Replit DB. First, go to main.py and then write from Replit import db. And this is actually the only thing you need to do to set up this database. Uh, you can use this database just like a Python dictionary. So you can just write db entry1 equals mark, and then run this script. After you run it, if you go to this database tab right here and wait for a little bit, you see that your key value pair has been added right here. And you see that you have some storage now. And then if you want to make sure that that particular data entry is there, you can just write db entry1. And you can get the value. If you want to delete it, you can write db entry1. And then just write del. Uh, once you run the script, if you try to find the same thing, you won't be able to. And that's reflected right here as well. So let's say that you want to add a bunch of key value pairs. So you might say entry 1 equals mark, entry 2 equals bean, and then entry 3. Let's call this one bean 2. And to get all the keys in your database, you can just write db.keys. So let's test that by running the script and then by writing db.keys right here. And that returns a set of all the keys that are in the database. So you can do things like for each key in the database's keys, print that key. And if you want, you can also print the value that corresponds to that key just like that. So this way, you're printing all the keys, uh, entry 1, entry 3, entry 2, and then the values corresponding to them. And one cool thing about this database is that you can add not just strings and numbers, but also lists and dictionaries as values of this database. And you could also add you know, things like lists of dictionaries or dictionaries of lists or any of those combinations. So you can just write db list entry and then add a list of, let's say, numbers, one, two, three, just like that. And you should be able to add a dictionary entry just like that as well. So let's say this is a dictionary of these key value pairs. A goes to B, and then uh, C going to D. And once you run it, you can access the DB in the console right here. And then you can write DB list entry. So this object, this class right here, is a special class uh, that's specifically made for this DB, but it acts just like a list. So you can do this entry, square brackets 0, to get the first value. And then you can even change it just like that. And once you do that, even if you run the script again, that's going to be reflect it just like that. And same thing with a dictionary entry. If you write this, and this is just like with a list, it's a special class that, that's defined for ReplitDB, and it acts just like a regular dictionary. So you can do things like, for example, dict entry square brackets A, and then let's change this to a list. Let's make this one 3, 2, 1. And then 
even if you run the script again, if you print this thing right here, then you get this new modified data. OK, the last thing I wanted to show you is this function right here, db.prefix. This function returns a set of all the keys that match this particular prefix. So if you write db.prefix entry, then this is going to match these three entries, entry 1, entry 2, entry 3, but not these two, list entry and dict entry. So if you print this, you should be able to see that we have these matching entries, entry 1, 2, and 3. Now, a common question we get about this is, what's the limit? Uh, to find that, you can check our doc right here. And as you can see right here, the limits are currently 50 megabytes per database and 5,000 keys per database. OK, I hope you found this video helpful. And maybe I'll see you in the next video.